एल्कोहल एडिक्शन द रिस्क ऑफ हैवी ड्रिंकिंग अ लेक्चर बाय डॉक्टर रोहित देश पांडे इट्स नॉट बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू इफ यू रेगुलरली कंज्यूम एक्सेसिव अमाउंट्स ऑफ एल्कोहल ड्रिंकिंग टू मच एल्कोहल कैन हैव अ वराइटी ऑफ नेगेटिव इफेक्ट्स ऑन द बॉडी एंड मेंटल हेल्थ एल्कोहल पॉइजनिंग कॉजेज लिवर डैमेज सिंस द लिवर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रिमूविंग इट फ्रॉम द बॉडी हाउएवर Your liver might not be able to keep up if you drink too much alcohol in a short amount of time. Alcohol consumption can cause the cirrhosis disease and the loss of liver cells. A warning indication that your liver is not working as well as it should is alcoholic fatty liver disease which may also be brought on by consuming high amounts of alcohol over an extended period of time. You may already be aware of the dangers of blood clots and high blood lipid and cholesterol levels which are factors in coronary artery disease. Alcohol makes both of these outcomes more likely. According to studies, heavy drinkers may be more at risk for developing heart disease as well as having difficulties pumping blood to their hearts. Alcohol consumption interferes with the brain's regular communication mechanisms which affects the nervous system as well. You will find it more challenging to think clearly, talk clearly, remember information, make judgments and move your body as a result. Large alcohol intake might also result in mental health issues including dementia and depression. You face the risk of causing yourself nerve damage. which might not get better even after you come to your senses anemia is a disorder that develops when your body is unable to create enough healthy red blood cells to adequately carry oxygen throughout your body because of that you could get ulcers inflammation and other health problems drinking too much alcohol may also increase your likelihood of skipping meals which could deprive your body of the iron it needs strong evidence exists that links excessive alcohol use to a number of different cancers including cancer your mouth throat larynx and oesophagus are all susceptible to cell damage from alcohol consumption you could end up getting intestinal liver or breast cancer as a result of this Alcohol can facilitate the entry of cancer causing agents into your cells including those from cigarettes and other sources. Epilepsy may become more likely in those who abuse alcohol over a lengthy period of time. An accumulation of uric acid in the affected joints causes this severe form of arthritis. Gout can be brought on by eating an excessive amount of food rich in purines. a group of molecules red meat shellfish and alcohol especially beer and spirits are some examples of foods high in purines large alcohol consumption can impair the ability of immune cells to successfully combat bacterial and viral illnesses furthermore since your liver produces antimicrobial proteins it could suffer harm The liver is a crucial organ for your immune system. Alcohol corrodes the digestive system. It could aggravate the stomach's lining, which might result in heartburn and nausea. If you let it go on for a long enough time, it can result in ulcers and chronic inflammation in your stomach, oesophagus and gut. Furthermore, it might make it harder for your intestinal tract to absorb essential nutrients like thiamine and vitamin b12 alcohol use can cause the pancreas to accumulate digestive enzymes which can result in pancreatitis and inflammation of the pancreas you may create less insulin as a result than usual which increases your chance of getting diabetes It's probable that excessive alcohol consumption will cause you to fall asleep at night. It may, however, make sleep more challenging or of worse quality as the sedative effect subsides. If you often binge drink, you can have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. This can make snoring and sleep apnea, both of which make it difficult to get a good night's sleep, worse. 
If you have any suspicions that you could have an alcohol problem, seek therapy. Speak with your family doctor, a therapist or a professional who focuses on addiction. Locate support groups online. Some people are able to successfully break the habit on their own. However, you might think about going to the local Alcoholics Anonymous chapter if you feel that you need further help. Learn more about the outpatient alcohol therapy programs that are available. Thanks for watching this video. For more informative content, please like, share, and subscribe to Dr. Rohit Deshpande's YouTube channel.